until oh there we go okay i see it so we can start all right so um i am here to talk to you about the newest employee resource group at snhu and um so i want to quickly go over what an erg is and then our specific erg uh so SNHU does have a lot of employee communities, but an ERG is slightly different, and I'll go over how. So both affinity groups and ERGs are there to cultivate belonging. However, ERGs are different in the fact that they focus on traditionally underrepresented groups based on either demographic, life stage, or function, uh, or characteristics like race, ethnicity, religion, and wellness. So this is different from an affinity group as they tend to not be focused on diversity, equity, or inclusion, or marginalized populations, and um, more on shared areas of interest. Also, employee resource groups receive sponsorship and funding from the Office of Diversity and Inclusion, while affinity groups do not. And then the last key difference between an affinity group and an ERG is that employee resource groups work in support of organizational strategy and have oversight and expectations that uh, we need to meet every year through our strategic plan. So our mission statement for the Wellness Advocacy Group, which we call WAG for short, is to promote emotional wellness destigmatize struggles with emotional and brain-based wellness and provide community and resources to our membership. And then the purpose statement for our employee resource group is to create an organization where cognitive and emotional wellness are not a one-off training, but part of our culture. So, in employee resource groups, we operate on the 4C model, which has um, four components. So there's contribute to business, which is increasing awareness of the effects of brain-based wellness, surveying our membership to figure out like what resources may SNHU need to add to better support our employee base and our students and then also create collaborations across departments. Uh, culture, which I happen to be the officer of, is there to encourage self-care as a regular practice, inspire and empower individuals to be able to share their own story, and um, develop a standard of cross-departmental collaborations to support students and employee emotional wellness, and then offer, also offer education about um, language and how to destigmatize uh, cognitive and emotional health. Our community officer is there to pretty much, as it sounds, create community. So um, community is a protective factor when it comes to emotional and cognitive wellness. And so we want to really create a community where we can discuss skills and promote healthy and appropriate boundaries. And then lastly, career. Um, we are going to focus on bolstering mental wellness through purpose and meaning and work, as well as provide skills to have product, productive and authentic conversations, both with direct reports and leaders around emotional wellness, also techniques and tools to maintain a work-life balance while skilling up, and also uh, make leaders who um, have direct reports aware of accommodations that are available to support employees if they are going through a rough patch with their cognitive or emotional health. And actually today um, we have a meeting at three o'clock, which I will drop the link again towards the end of the presentation. If you would like to join, I will do my best to add everybody before the meeting starts at three so you have access to the meeting. Today we will be swearing in the other three officers I was sworn in last month. Um, because I, I founded this ERG, so I already got sworn in. We'll be swearing them in, and then we will be um, talking a little bit more and sourcing information from our membership about um, our four different competencies and ways that members would like to be involved and help meet those competencies. 
And then in terms of engagement with the ERG, we don't ask for any specific time commitment at all. We are here for our members. So if somebody can never attend the meetings, it doesn't add anything to the chat, but they use the chat, our team's channel, um, to source, like to find resources that we post, they're getting what we want out of their membership. So we never ask anybody to commit a specific amount of time. And then there are a lot of different ways to engage in a way that is hopefully going to be not only meaningful to our members, but also accommodate their varying schedules as well as job responsibilities. So we do have a Teams channel where we share resources, thoughts, opportunities, can network and have conversations with one another. We also have synchronous meetings once a month. Today's is at three, and then we'll have another one next month. Um, we will have subcommittees. Those are not formed yet because we just recently launched, but part of today's meeting is figuring out what our members are looking for and how we can contribute to SNHU by forming sub subcommittees. Um, and again, those aren't mandatory to join. It's just if people feel drawn to it. Um, and then lastly, uh, we do like people to share ideas. And they can email them to us, put them in the Teams channel, however they would like to. So as I said, uh, today's meeting is three to four. And I will, I know I just posted it, but just in case, um, I will post the link for membership again. And like I said, I'll do my best to add people if you fill it out before three o'clock. And then we also have an email that I will share with you. So if you ever need to email us, you're of course always welcome to email me individually if you want to ask me a specific question. Um, but if you have just like a general WEG ERG question, we do have a specific email for that as well. And it may be me that answers it, or it may be one of the other three officers who answers it. But you're also welcome to reach out to us individually, whatever is most comfortable for you and depending on the nature of your of your question. Um, so we have a few minutes left, so I just want to open the floor. If anybody has questions for me, I'll do my best to answer. If I don't know the answer, I will follow up with you. And again, feel free to type it out or unmute your mic, whatever is easiest for you. 